Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I did not already make it clear that I don't know what I'm doing, I just proved it. And if you also want to know what hot garbage looks like in person, there you have it. Oh, hello. I don't know why some of you guys keep coming back, but welcome back. Uh, so the last video, we got, <laughs> we got the bug on the MR2 chassis. Uh, there's a lot of mindless uh, kind of cleaning up and stitch welding I need to do. Uh, I want to try and kind of get my head, uh, just kind of the creativity going again and kind of get my thought process back. Uh, the hood needs to be widened, obviously. I know that needs to be done. Uh, so I'm just going to attempt to do that and hopefully that kind of gets me more in depth on the rest of it. I just, my brain kind of needs to click back into where it was. So since I know what needs to be done on that aspect, I'm just going to give it a shot. So I'm going to grab a hood, cut it in half, uh, and I'll kind of show you along the way. Because I did originally tell you guys I wasn't going to cut it. Uh, so I'll, I'll get in all that, but I'm going to get to work.
I'm going to try and do now is, so I welded the underneath as you just watched. So I'm going to try and cut these welds basically so the metal I sit on it will sit flat. Um, like I said, I don't really know how this is going to work. Um, we were, I was going to leave the center and cut the sides and then fill this in with that. But I feel like with my skill set, it was easier since this is flat, then I wouldn't have to match, you know, like the curve right there. Um, and then down here now, instead of trying to match that, I think it'd be okay if I made that bottom piece relatively flat instead of trying to match this curve. I could just kind of, the, the curve now right here won't have to be as dramatic. So this was, uh, just with my skill set, this was a better way to do it in my head. So I'm going to trim these down, um, or almost cut them off completely just so the metal can now sit flat. And then what I'm thinking is I'm going to try and cut these sections out since they are flat and they should match the curve relatively. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do one piece to about here-ish and then do a second piece to go all the way down. Um, I was going to cut this one in half, but then I, you know, I was thinking about these holes and I, I did screw this one up a long time ago. So I figured if we're going to do another uh, set up like this I can read you so that's what I'm doing now and we're gonna see how it works out
Well, ladies and gentlemen, if I did not already make it clear that I don't know what I'm doing, I just proved it. And if you also want to know what hot garbage looks like in person, there you have it. Hot, okay, so <laughs> this piece sucks a lot, period. I don't know, I, what I'm thinking is, okay, so the sides are kind of bowing in from the heat, and so kind of what I'm thinking overall, is I just wanted to get it tacked in place and I'm probably gonna add some more tacks throughout it so it's strong enough to then hammer from the bottom. Uh, lift lift all the low spots up, see how level I can get it. I mean, this, where those two meet is down. Uh, this piece is kind of weird. Like everything's kind of funky. So basically what I, down, this is like, it really pisses me off. This piece is like, it's flat, it's nice, it's beautiful. This one has a little hump in the middle. Uh, that other gray piece that was here had an even bigger hump. I don't know why this is so perfectly flat and this and that are trashed, but whatever. So the idea is just, this is all kind of sort of in place. Um, I may end up cutting that out. This is just, that was just a weird one to do because I had to do every, every side and I couldn't really, I don't know, it was strange. So that piece sucks, but the idea is I'm gonna get everything tacked a little better. Uh, try to work with the hammer and dolly from underneath and kind of see see how it works. Like I said, don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that was far more difficult than anticipated. But from afar, it doesn't look too shabby. Uh, the lip down here, I have to, I just, I put this a little further down because I didn't know if I was going to try and bend it or just trim it off. Um, so yeah, it's kind of sort of got a hood. It's freaking huge. Okay, uh, I have some other news for you guys that a lot of you are probably not gonna like, but a lot of you guys didn't like the idea of cutting this in half, and a lot of you guys have kind of now grown to see what's in my head, whether or not I'm actually doing what I want or what was pictured in my head. Now you guys can kind of see see the end result and kind of see what, what's going on up in my noggin. So, with that being said, I want you guys to have faith with this idea and just kind of let let me progress in it and then you'll see what I'm seeing. Uh, but a lot of you guys are not going to like it. A lot of you guys hated the Baja fenders. You guys wanted this to look like a classic bug from the side. And I'm cool with that. That's fine. Um, I'll post a picture right now. That picture was of a slammed bug with Baja fenders that I kind of fell in love with. And that's why I originally wanted to do Baja fenders because I saw that bug. What I'm thinking now, and here's why. So uh, we are going to try and drop the body, but I'm just gonna try and drop the front. I think it'd be a monumental disaster for me to try and drop the entire thing. But I think if we can drop the front half, um, say two inches, give the body kind of a raked look. I'm cool with that and it'd be a lot, I think, safer and easier with my skill set. So the plan for that, this isn't even the part you guys are gonna hate and you guys might hate this too. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna cut in here, probably to there-ish, and then knock that down, use some plate like this, plate the gaps, and then basically space the back up, get this down, um, you know, and this is all down the road a little bit when the body's finalized, but so that's kind of the plan for that. Here's the part y'all gonna hate. I'm not gonna run fenders. Now, hear me out. Um, so to drop the body, um, we would have to either pull this out, which I'm not doing because of what I just did here. Uh, so we'd have to pull this out to clear this, blah, blah, blah. Um, when we do drop this, this is gonna probably end up sitting about where the hood starts, right? So to put fenders on here is gonna be a disaster and I, I don't even want to mess with it. Now, what I do like about this idea is bugs typically do not have coils up front unless it's a super beetle. So that's gonna kind of give it like a whoa. And then same with the back, people are gonna see that and go whoa. So what I'm thinking, uh, a big part of this too is this shock tower needs support. My original plan to support this was to run a tube along the outside of this, follow the curve, send it down to the frame rail, and then on this end, send it back to the A pillar of the roll cage. And then that would give that a lot of strength and we can guess at the corners and what have you. So I think, now I don't, I'm, I'm thinking on the fly here, so just dream with me. 
Um, if we can get this all cleaned up, you know, make this one nice sheet of metal and then have that bar nice, paint it nice and have it look, make it look like exotic and custom and like really roll with that, uh, kind of that style and that idea. I think, like I said, I don't know what's going to go on with that piece. Like, I don't know, but that's, that's what I want to do. That's what's in my head now. So, um, obviously there is just way too much work to even think about one thing like that but that is what's going on in my head um i think looking at it from like right here if you can imagine just like a nice big meaty bar coming around there it might kind of just i don't know i think it'd look cool um so now that i did that the next step is to take the body off i'm going to clean everything out like a lot of you suggested um i'm going to look up ask people do a bunch of research see what mr2 wiring i actually need to keep and what can go I am 90% sure that all of the wiring right here can go away, at least. And I'm basing that on looking at Kyle's MR2 with his K-Swap. None of this crap is in here. He has the Honda wiring harness and it disappears into there and it looks like it's wire tuck, but it's not. Up there is a rat's nest. I have no idea what's going on up there, but I'm gonna start back here, empty everything out, just get it, just get it bare bones again. Um, if I run into another hole, I'm just going to start mindlessly, uh, stitch welding all the open metal and just, we're going to slowly progress no matter what I'm, I'm going to try and stay busy doing whatever I can. So that's kind of my game plan. Um, I do think, I mean, this is cool. This just gives us a little bit more, more of a visual idea of kind of what it's going to look like. I, I mean, it's not, it's not even close to being done, but. I, I like how it turned out. I was thinking about doing this several different ways based on pictures. Um, this was the easiest way for me to do it because if I did like keep the center section normal and then like spaced out this gap, I'd have to match that curve, match that curve, match it down there. This way, the only real curve I'm working with is that, which is pretty dang close. So that's, uh, that's where my head is at <laughs> on that hot mess that you see before you. All right guys, that's all the talking I'm doing. That's what I did. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Lots for you guys to critique and uh, dislike, unfortunately, that some of those things I just said, I, I know people are not gonna like, but that's in my head. I can picture it. I think it's gonna look cool. I know it's hard for some of you guys to understand what's going on up in here, um, but that's that's what I'm gonna try and shoot for. Uh, so next video, I, <laughs> I don't know guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me ideas. When you guys flood the comments with just random ideas, whether it portrays to what I did or not, it gets my head going, whether I use your idea or it sends me on another path. Like I love it and it, it just helps. I mean, I'm Mina's busy all the time now, so I'm here by myself and I'm thinking and talking to myself. So your guys' comments and uh, ideas help me out more than you guys know. So keep those coming. Uh, if you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. So the goal, and this is, this is hard balancing work. The goal right now in my head is I'm going to try and get a bug video out every three days. So two to three videos a week of just the bug. I, nothing else is really happening. So that's what I'm going to try and focus on. Just try and make as much progress as I can. The goal for this is still to drive before it snows, which is upon us in a mere like three months here. So that really sucks. But I think that is enough time. I mean, I'm not like the body work's not going to be done. I'm going to get the hood and stuff like structural enough to drive it. But I'm probably going to leave it looking like a haggard mess. If I can drive it looking like it's going to fall in half, cool. So that's the plan. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll see you later.